Hey guys, it's DemonMBK and today I'm bringing you some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on the PC. The gameplay you're going to watch here is a nuclear and I started recording this quite late so I'm sorry guys, I didn't catch the beginning. I think it's up to like 15 kill streak, and then I started recording because I realised I was on a streak and I thought why not let's record. You've probably all seen actually the nuclear fail in this. Uh, just as I get the nuclear I get taken out by a teammate because we're playing a uh, hardcore game on Nujacked and he actually just like sort of warps in front of me and I shoot him in the head and I kill myself so yeah that was quite annoying uh, this gameplay is quite old actually but I thought why not just use it for this um, I've got a few nuclears I'm holding on to uh, because I'm not really playing Black Ops 2 lately so I thought why not this just hold on to him for a bit until I've got something decent to talk about and yeah that's it that's where we're at now so without any further ado let's get on with the video so today's video is sort of spurred on by two other YouTubers, one called Brian and one called OP Beta. I'll have a link to both their YouTubes in the description below, so check them out, they're both really cool dudes. Uh, but they both put up videos talking about their experiences with vehicles the last few days. One with uh, Brian, who was talking about a little accident he had, and one with OP talking about him getting his license, and he mentioned a, a previous crash that he'd been involved with uh, previously, but didn't really go into detail about it. But it got me thinking about my own experience with... Um, riding, I was able to get a motorbike and, and so on, but I'll, I'll start off with where uh, I sort of got involved with motorcycling. So basically my, my father is a, a huge uh, advocate for motorcycling, he's into it like crazy, I'm into motorcycling sport, uh, like British Superbikes and World Superbikes, and um, I, I got that drive through and passion I suppose from my father. So, yeah, when it, when it came around to the time I could get a bike and, and be road legal, because I'd previously been riding off-road with mates on dirt bikes and so on for years and having fun with it. Uh, but when it came to the point of getting a road legal bike, I got a, uh, a 125 Yamaha DT replica and it cost me 1500 new so it was a bargain because uh, I didn't have to pay tax for three years and an MOT I think it was or was it just MOT I can't even remember if it was that long ago it was about four or f no it was about six years ago now actually so yeah I, I, I purchased this bike and for maybe six seven months golden I had so much fun with it um, I had a little accident where a, a learner driver pulled out on me and I clipped the rear end and it fucked my my pinky up I had to have an operation on that to correct the nail bed but other than that it was all good and, and fine and dandy and uh, I used to go up and, and meet my dad and go on my little rides I remember the first ride actually was out to a place called Sheerness in Kent and uh, yeah that was just some, some real good fun times blaring up and down a, a road up there with my dad uh, so yeah I one night, essentially, I planned on going up and, and meet my dad, and I rode up to his house, but on the way, uh, something happened, and it's something that actually shook me, and I haven't driven since. Um, I was basically coming up to traffic lights, and I was going straight on, and the traffic lights had turned to green. Uh, they were like sort of amber green and I, I I went through and as I went through a car a boy racer pulled out in front of me and I hit him square on and when I done that <laughs> it's weird because people say that you can you, you sort of see your life flash in front of you I firmly believe that's what I saw I, I, I saw my life sort of flash beyond me really quickly and then I sort of came around uh, but from my injuries, I was actually very, very lucky. Literally, the, the most that was wrong with me at the time was I had a uh, knee injury and a back injury. I couldn't walk uh, properly for maybe six months. I was out of work for a long time. Um, yeah, it was just horrendous. It was it was a horrible time dealing with the pain. Uh, but I still have nightmares now, and, and these guys talking about their incidents, um, little accidents really got me thinking about my accident again and it, it sort of brings back flashbacks and but I think I'm ready to to sort of get back on the the, the saddle I suppose and uh, get riding again because it's been a long time since I've been uh, driving it's it, it really did physically scare me knowing I could have died because I landed on my knees actually on the curb essentially what happened was when the car pulled out I hit him on the passenger uh, side and no it's a driver's side sorry I hit him on the driver's side and I flew and I somersaulted over the top of his car landed at my knees on the curb 
and sort of came to a rest against Raylands. It, 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 yeah, it, it just, it made you realise that life is is worth living. I suppose, like, really well. Like, don't take it for granted because that really fucking scared me uh, when that incident happened, and I, I really haven't sort of fucked about with life since. <laughs> on that respect, I haven't really done anything to to really put myself in danger. Um, I know a lot of people, they come to the point where they can get mopeds and, and stuff. I was the same. I didn't actually get a moped. I went straight to 125 because I was confident enough with, with riding dirt bikes and, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, I went straight to uh, a 125 and, yeah, um, I think a lot of people do it. And I've known people throughout the years have actually killed themselves in car accidents and, and so on. And, yeah, it's it's not a pleasant thing. It's... It's, uh, it really does, I don't know, it, it changes you mentally when you have a big crash. Like, little crashes and, and stuff. I had actually, like I said, a previous crash where it wrecked my pinky. And it, it, that didn't really put me off, I suppose. Like, uh, I had to go to hospital and, and have my nail bed corrected and have an operation and so on. That wasn't really the big thing. I suppose the second crash was, wasn't even as bad. I didn't have to go to hospital. I just had to take painkillers for months on end. I couldn't walk. Um, my knee was busted, and I still have a bad back now. Um, like it, it is horrendous sometimes to to move. So yeah, the first crash I think was worse in terms of I had to have an operation, go through all that. Uh, the second crash was worse in terms of what could have happened. Like I'm, I'm really quite lucky. So I just want to say to people that maybe are getting their licenses for the first time, really be careful. And even if you think you're the best driver, there are some absolute idiots out there. And I just so happened to have an idiot pull out in front of me and, and ruin my time. And, uh, yeah, just just be safe, essentially. Just be safe, because I know a lot of people getting their licenses and so on. So, yeah, anyway, guys, this was just uh, me getting some stuff off my chest, being a bit therapeutic and really thinking to myself. So, um, if you like these sort of real-life stories, let me know in the comment section below. I can maybe do some more for you guys. Anyway, guys, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.